This is the Patriot Box Office Media Player. I always tell everyone about these. And so you need to get it if you like movies, pictures, music, anything. Uh, if you don't have Blu-ray players, you want to watch Blu-ray movies, you want to have a music library, play in your home theater, on your TV, take it to go to hotels, it's great. Well, my coworkers want some, family wants some, so of course I'm a nerd. So I bought, what, six of them? Hooking them up for family and friends. It's great. Comes with uh, everything you need, pretty much. Comes with HDMI cords, remote controls, USB cords, RCA cords, you name it. It's great. This is the only model that you could pop open. Put in a laptop size hard drive, which is SATA connections. Two screws hold it in. It's pretty simple. Put it back together. This is the front, right in here. Has a USB slot. Four external hard drives, or little memory sticks, or whatever you got. Plug anything in USB, it'll read it. It's pretty cool. And of course, the back. Another USB, mini USB, HDMI, RCAs, 7.1 surround sound, Ethernet, all that good stuff, power on and off switch, it's great. So anyway, it comes with all the gizmos, it's great. And if you have any movies that say, for example, like Rambo, for an example, digital copy, put it in your computer, get a digital copy. Put it on the hard drive or memory stick or whatever you got. Watch the movie whenever you want. I will show you all the movies I have as an example. Give me a second. Of course, that's my box set. Thank you, Ben, for my birthday present. Let's see here. This is what's playing now. And you can see I have music videos. The remote's pretty simple. So if you have a remote, it's a, pretty much a 101 guide on what deck to do. Ooh, the screensaver came on. Yes, it does have a screensaver. Push a button, it goes away. Up or down, changes the videos and the preview shows on the right. If you like what you're watching, Rock and roll. Just hit the uh, the middle enter button, and it'll play it big. So then you have your whole movie going or video, whatever you're watching, pictures, music. And of course, the fast forward button works great because it's all digital. It's on a disc. And where you want to go, hit play. If you don't want to watch it, hit stop. And it goes back to the preview screen. So of course, home button. This is the screen that shows up when you turn it on. Has your browser, settings, push to the right, setup, file copy, which is great. Copy from USB to your internal hard drive. Copy from your internal hard drive to USB, external drive, whatever you want. Um, IMS, browser. You could browse all, only music, only photos, only movies, or all. So let's do all and hit enter course the start screen here it comes up now people get stuck here so obviously I have a USB plugged in on the front there's mine and I have a internal hard drive plugged in the inside so HDD is for the internal hard drive USB is for the USB in the front or the back DVD net UPnP which is great give iPhone droid there's a media share app UPnP allows me to view all my pictures and music from my iPhone and then plays it directly on my TV sound system. I can see all my pictures, everything. If you have a playlist set up, because it comes with a disc, plug it in your computer, load it. You can see files from your Patriot box office to your computer, so forth and so forth. And then it starts all over USB, HDD. You just keep pushing down, it just keeps scrolling through it over and over. So let's go USB. It shows it as a C drive, like a computer would. Above it, is the slash dot dot slash that is like the back arrow if you want to go back hit enter and then you're back to the screen of course there's no back arrow on the remote there is a return button that should work about the same so I'll push return and it went right back so in case you don't know the back arrow or the return just always hit the little slash dot dot slash so let's go inside and 50 first dates if you could read it so we'll hit enter, <clears throat> and it looks like music. So of course you hit enter and play, and it plays it, just like a window media file kind of computer. So it's pretty cool. Hit next chapter, next on the remote, should go to the next one. And it does. So hit return, go back, music still plays because you're looking at the menu. So now we'll go into the internal hard drive. We'll back up, back up. 
HDD, internal hard drive system. I labeled all my folders. You can do it yourself on a computer. Of course, movies awesome because they don't. All my movies don't stink, so they're awesome. Let's see here. We got kids' movies, um, Cars. Here we go. Cars two, Cars one, Cars two, all that good stuff. So it shows you the preview on the right. And on the right, it shows you how long the movie is, how big the format is, the size of it, and what file it is. There's a preview. So if you want to watch it, you hit the enter button or play. <clears throat> and there it is. And it did ask me if I wanted to confirm playback on the, where I left off or from the beginning. Really nice. If you don't want to watch it, hit stop. If you're not in the mood, then go watch something else. But this is great. So go back and you can scroll down on the folders. These are the kids' movies. Of course, hit return. I don't want to find the back arrow. So now I'm back to the main folders. Let's scroll down, alphabetical order. Of course, all these movies were from the digital copy. Let's see, okay, there's Avatar. That's a nice Blu-ray movie. Of course, I'm filming this with my iPhone, so it might not look too Blu-ray to you. So I'll hit enter. It should ask me to confirm playback. Well, I guess I haven't watched it in a while. It's starting from scratch. You can zoom in. Fast forward, rewind, hit next, volume up and down, all in the remote's great.